try that approach again? I'm sorry, honey. You, you just caught me by surprise. I didn't mean to cuss at you, Mr. Williams. Why are you covering that up? You know what? I woke up this morning, I thought it was gonna be a good morning, but I didn't smell any breakfast. You look like that all the time. I'm misunderstanding. I'm sorry. I just knew you were having people over today, so I wanted to get up and get myself together. I didn't know you'd be up this early. And what time do I normally get up? 6.30 in the morning. And what time is it right now? It's 5 in the morning. <laughs> you just saved your own life. We'll finish up. I'm hungry and I haven't eaten. And you don't want to see me that way, do you? No, Mr. Williams. That's my girl. Lisa, this is Officer Henry and Officer Grace. Speak. It's a pleasure to meet you, Officer Grace and Officer Henry. All right, guys, y'all go ahead and go into the living room. I'll be in there in a minute, okay? Relax, Lisa. Everything looks great. It's gonna be a good night. How do you feel about the new narcotics department? You think it's being run well? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. 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 There's some stuff they could do better. Yeah. Yeah. Speak. Would you guys like anything to drink? The food is almost ready. I'm sorry, are you including them while talking to me? I apologize. We don't normally have friends or family over, so I just- I'm sorry. Are you including another man while you're offering something to me in my house, Lisa? I didn't raise you, but I taught you better than that. Craig, please, I didn't mean anything, buddy. Craig, please. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna go take a shower real quick and then we'll go get some drinks, okay? Yeah, sounds good. All right. Are you okay? I just wanted to check on you. supposed to be talking to you. I'm just trying to make sure you're okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude to you. But do I look okay? Is somebody calling for help? Seem okay to you? Exactly. I thought so. You both could have helped me. You can even call for help, but you chose not to. I'm sorry, Lisa, but at the end of the day, I can't overstep him just like you can't. He's my boss. What am I supposed to say? You have to ask him. Why even bother? Look, I feel for you. I really do. But I have a family to feed. This is your problem, not mine. <laughs> You're absolutely right. But it's better said than done. Head it out, Lisa. When I get back, make sure that my food is heated up. I lost my appetite thanks to you. I know you're not asleep, but I'll let it pass. Because my hand hurts. Hello? Is 
this than you? Oh my God, Lisa, what the hell? Where have you been? Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm not okay. Start talking right now. <sighs> Do you remember the guy I told you I met about two years ago? Yes, I remember. He's been repeating me ever since we met. I can't escape from him. Lisa, who's this? Lisa, who's this? I asked you a question. This is my sister, Danielle. What have I told you when it comes to family? Well, you told me to- Lisa, be quiet. I'm sorry. I don't know who you think you are, but this is my wife, and nobody talks to her like that except me. You can't just walk in here like you own the place. Oh, I plan on to in due time. Hmm. I went my own in this place. By the way, my name is Danielle Trust. And this is my sister, Lisa Trust. I'm an FBI agent who's been investigating you and your coworkers. We hacked into your home security system and we have all the evidence that we need to shut you and this whole entire facility down. What? There's, no, you can't be serious. I'm so happy that I am. They said that I could come and walk you out personally. So, as of now, you all are fired. Gather all of your belongings and leave this building. I'm not grabbing anything. You can expect to hear from my lawyers. Yeah, hopefully he can help assist you better with your divorce because you won't be getting your job back here. I can't even be mad at you. You stood up for you like I should have. Congratulations on your freedom. The moral of the story is, no matter what position you hold, there's always going to be someone above you that you have to answer to. And especially if you're in a situation where you're corrupt, you're always going to have to answer to someone. Don't put yourself in a position to lose everything you have. Never let someone manipulate you to stay in an abusive relationship just because they feel like they have some sort of power over you because of who they are. If you witness a situation, always speak up. Otherwise, you become an accessory as well. Never let someone else ruin your life.